we have to decide as a country, and this goes back to where the hope is, we have to decide what country we want to be going forward, right? So I'll, I'll use social media as an example. If, in fact, we are going to say the First Amendment basically allows anybody to say anything, including um, advocating violence like we saw in the January 6th insurrection or whatever, right? If that's what we want, then you will get the America that we have, which is when you ask the question, why is everybody's at each other's throats? Why are we so polarized? That's one of the reasons is that you that you said we're going to make a choice for people being able to say anything they want. Oh, and by the way, we're going to amplify all these extreme positions from the left and the right so they seem like mainstream positions and they're not. They're minority positions, right? So, in again with abortion, with uh voting rights, with it, we have to re-energize democracy. That's our hope, right? That with vital signs we can be some part of that. And we're not at, we're not offering the answers of saying it should be that way, but we should at least ask the question: Is what do we want? And once we decide that, then we can have the conversation about how we do it. But the problem for us, for most of us in America, is that we jump right into how to do it, and that conversation not only is polarized, but it's stagnating. It means that both sides cancel each other, and we have no action one way or another. 